boxing and uh, looks like he's really been busy this he's really really grown uh, if we compare the size of the burrow when we first found it to the size now he's really really growing and he's busy all the time making it bigger for him you see all the dirt up in front and he was sitting right there and he heard a four-wheeler and dove in and watched him so we gave him a little bit of a carrot and it was laying right there in the front of the burrow inside the burrow and This is a trail that we used to ride down. Oh, it's been a couple of years now since we've been down here. You can see how it's overgrown and so forth. Uh, it take a good day to, to go ahead and and cut all this stuff back to make it tra uh, travelable again. But we're going to head down there and uh, just to see what's up and see if we can find a trail to take us across into no man's land. You can see that they're starting to get ready to uh, cut the trees. They've come through and they've marked which trees are going to stay. And that's going to be the ones with the blue marks on them. At least that was the marking system that they used at the New York State Forest. I thought that one of those army UAVs that you hold the tops of the trees and back into the swamp and just watch what's down there, see what's down there and bring it back. That would be, that'd be awesome. I just love the forest and woods. It's so quiet.
try it. There's not even a breeze blowing right now. I'm probably an hour away from the sunset. Of course, the time changes tonight, so tomorrow night it'll be a hour earlier. seen some deer laying down here in these all weeds. See, we're deep into the bowels of the forest. There's a gully down this way, and it really just comes to a dead end. Um, there's another trail that goes this way. There's one that goes up the hill. That wasn't there before, and I don't know where it might might lead to. But if I were younger. And back in the day when we first started riding this, we cut this trail, and uh, that would be the next trail. So we could just go up that hill and head on across. If you go this way, there's a swamp over here with a giant hill that most of the people who rode with us just wouldn't even attempt. So we kind of negated that. Then we cut another trail that went back this way, and it goes back to a wellhead, and uh, it's really some rough terrain, but it's pretty back there. As you can see, this all needs to be cleared out, and this is one of the areas that is to be cut. So that's why I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I like it back here. If you're going to run into deer, or hogs, or or any of the uh, bigger game it's gonna be at down in here back there this is where their home is you know there's probably a coyote den or two around and they're more or less come out at night I mean if there's they hear something or whatever they'll come out but they usually stay around their den or in their den during the day and uh, and do their hunting at night but this is what outdoor life is all about right here so we're gonna stop and uh, camp here for a while maybe cook us some chili and and uh, just relax and enjoy the great outdoors here in the wilderness you can see how thick it is because there's hardly any sunlight through it it's a bright sunny day so this is the great outdoors ATV hey, go right up that hill but I don't know where it would go once you get up there. I need to get a machete 
That way I can cut down the branches as we travel. I don't, we'll do this, I think, in another week or so. You see that this has become a game trail. Where all the animals uh, head down to the water. And back over this way where they may want to hide out or whatever they have to do. All you need is some kind of machine that just chews this little stuff up and you can go anywhere through here, cut trails. Yep. Follow all the game trails. Well, yeah, it looks like their chili's about ready. Mmm. You can't beat a quick little snack out in the wild. Not even at a fancy restaurant. One thing we're going to protect ourselves against is uh, the old burn hand syndrome. <laughs> know that well. Know it well. Know it well. That burned down and cool off. What good is chili without crackers? So I brought the crackers with me and I love to just crumble them up. And if I bring food out here, I usually uh, leave some for my critters. Some raccoons or something using this trail later will find those crackers and they'll, they'll enjoy them. Mm, you know, not all animals get to eat every day. It's better out in the woods than at home. You know, when you head out on an ATV ride or, or a horse ride or somewhere where you know you're going to be away from civilization, there are certain things that I take with me and you probably should too. But that, you know, that's up to you. You know, uh, I like to think that I'm self-sufficient in many ways. So I bring a GPS, I bring food, I bring a heat source, something that'll uh, provide heat. I've got a major first aid kit with uh, those emergency warming blankets and all kinds of stuff. Uh, Utensils, tools to fix tires and and things, just little kits that'll that'll get you by. Uh, water, enough provisions for overnight anyway. And make a plan. Let somebody know where you're going and where you're gonna be at. I got my my phone, and when you get down into these little gullies and things, that may not work. So we have a plan. I dropped the plan out at, at uh, a friend of mine's house and they know from that back by 5 o'clock or so that there might be something wrong. They'll try to call and then they'll come down and look. And then if they can't find me then they would uh, go on from there. Mm. But take the Boy Scouts word for it. Be prepared. I checked the weather before I came. Shouldn't be any sudden surprises. Uh, but remember, when you're out here, there are you, there's things out here that'll hurt you. They don't, they don't, I mean, there's poisonous snakes and spiders and and uh, all kinds of things. You may run into a bear. This happens to be a, a thoroughfare from the bears coming from North Florida to North Alabama. Uh, proof of that was they ended up. Somebody got or ran over a bear in, in Geneva. So, you know, you never know what you're going to run into. Know your area. If you're going to a someplace new, find somebody to talk to them to find out what you're going to run into. Okay? Be safe. Oh, that was really good. Now that lunch is over, there are certain provisions that we have to do or make in order to safely get out of here. Number one, we had a fire going. It was just a small one made by a heat cube, but it still was enough to, to burn this entire area down if we were to leave it. So we're going to go over there and we're going to make sure not only that it's out, but we're going to bury it. Uh, the trash usually we take with us, uh, being that it's just a, a real dirty, greasy old chili can, we're going to go ahead and bury it. But we'll bury it with our fire. That way it will smother it and uh, 
and we can consider that safe. Our utensils, now we either have to clean them or put them somewhere where they can be cleaned. One thing you don't want to do is take that out the next time and it'd be full of uh, bacteria and stuff and you end up dying from poisoning from, the, from your silverware. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start cleaning up. Okay. You can see our heat cube is completely gone. And that's a good thing. I used to have a, a shovel. And a shovel is a good idea. Because you never know, you know, when you not have to dig in or, or whatever. And I don't know what happened to that shovel, actually, to be honest with you. There's a lot of things that I don't know what happened to. Uh, I had a machete. But, you know, when you carry big tools like that, you've got to store them somewhere. And big tools kind of went under my saddlebag. And, uh, well, a lot of times they fall out. And they disappear. Not only is this a safe way to get rid of our, it'll take years for that aluminum to disintegrate. My little critters that live in the ground, the way I position that, uh, they can dig down and make them a little home out of it. And I'm not against that. They got food and they got shelter and protection from the bigger guys. Make sure your knives are put away in the proper. Lord, help us if uh, we're to roll this thing over and these knives that come flying out and we roll into them and get stabbed or whatever. We don't ever plan to have an accident, but you should always plan for an accident. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> okay. We cleaned our area. We did, did away with our, our garbage. Now we got to pack up the ATV, make sure we got everything, have a little checklist. We got our heater. Um, of course, we got to uh, pack up our video equipment and uh, anything that we had out. We're going to put that away pack up, turn around, and we'll head back out of here.
Now that is a very pretty tree. I came around the corner and saw that red sticking out. Oh, it's gorgeous. What a color. Look at that. It's beautiful. That is one of the good things about fall. Cold weather isn't one of them. Our uh, reduced, yeah, redistribution of wealth, as the Democrats put it, didn't really work. This plant, this plant doesn't look like it's going to survive, but uh, we'll put a little water on it and see if maybe there's something in there that might help. Neither did this one. Oh, well, maybe there's some seeds or something in there and it'll help out for next year. There's a gopher apple plant there, and there's one over here. This one looks like it's going to be okay, but the other one may, we'll see. We'll see next year. This guy has been attacked a number of times, probably by coyotes or dogs, trying to dig into there. And you can see how, how the burrow goes down, because they had to dig, what, a foot and a half maybe, until they started hitting the burrow again, and still didn't get it. This guy's still active. Uh, still works on this thing every day, so we're going to give him a little water carrot. When I threw the carrot down in that hole, there was a very strange sound that, that came out of there and almost sounded to me like a rattlesnake might be in there. So we're going to back off of this one. When I threw the carrot in there, it may have uh, disturbed him. So, I wish I had got that on video but he quit as soon as uh, he knew it was just a carrot. The carrot probably just got venomized. And this guy is very busy. He's got a trail that goes up here. There he gets in and out. He's got a protective mound that he's dug over there. That he's brought out of his burrow. He's got a trail that comes out and he goes from his hole, he takes a right turn, heads out, goes out that way. So there's something over there that he likes real real good and uh, goes over there often. And he's got trails going a couple of different directions. But you can see he's very busy. Loves to dig. Uh, in order to get that mound any bigger, he's going to have to push that all the way up here. And he's just a digging son of a gun, ain't he? Look at the dirt throw back here. Love it when I see a guy that works hard, and makes him a nice home. So we gave him a carrot. He got a carrot. I did notice this uh, reddish plant. And it's not only right here, it's all the way up and down here, actually. And I don't know what it is, but we're going to stop and we're going to get a real closer look at it. it. 
could be just something that has uh, caught the weather. Very pretty. Today we headed out to uncharted territory where we hadn't been in a number of years and it was really really enjoyable it needs to be trimmed back a little bit three years of uh, growth untouched is uh, it needs to be cleaned up so we'll try to get down there and do that and I want to thank you we see some saw some very pretty flowers and you know no trip out here into the great outdoors wouldn't be complete until we stopped to see our boys yeah, Bishaw and Oki. And uh, that's where we're headed now. So, again, I want to say thank you. And I hope that you enjoyed our show. And remember that uh, God created this great outdoors for you and me. So get your family out. Enjoy the outdoors, your family. You're always welcome here in the great outdoors. This is Alvine saying thanks for joining us. And we'll see you the next time. God bless.